because it is not one dimensional at all. Tiffany Callender says she knew her neighborhood would be vulnerable to COVID-19 even before the outbreak took hold. There are clear disparities in terms of health, housing, economics. So when the when you hear the impact of COVID come into play, you know that that's going to multiply those things by 10. That connection has been observed for weeks, but now CBC News has used census data to pinpoint it. This is a map of COVID-19 cases in Montreal. Our analysis found correlations between hard-hit areas and factors such as race, income and housing. The strongest between the number of cases per 100,000 residents and the percentage of black residents. It allows for us to say this is not anecdotal. This is real. There were also correlations with the number of health care workers and low income earners. The data doesn't determine why. We raised the red flag since, since the get-go. This activist says Montreal North is home to many frontline workers and cramped apartments and says the government didn't act fast enough. The fact that black, the black population is contracting the virus doesn't mean that you know, they are more prone to be uh, infected by any virus. They're just more prone to inequalities. Last month, the government said it would collect race-based data, but hasn't started yet. I think that the issue of collecting information about race is always a sensitive one. I think there's going to be probably some studies done specifically on those populations. This is Epidemiology 101 to understand which populations and which individuals are more likely to become infected or less likely to become infected. We are the experts and understanding how COVID-19 would affect the black community. Calendar says race-based data and consultations with community groups will allow the province to tailor its response and better prepare for a possible second wave. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.